Now, finally, how did you celebrate Sal Halloween with the threat of a virus that thrives on us socialising? Some of us might be under national lockdowns or living with some kind of restrictions, but that hasn't stopped everyone from partying, as Paul Hawkins reports. Scenes like this might seem like a lifetime ago for some of us, but this is Halloween COVID style in the Chinese city where the pandemic began. A parade in Wuhan attracting thousands of revelers. Confirmed cases here are now ultra low. Even then, almost all those cases are imported, but face masks are still being worn. And it's a similar story in the capital, Beijing. China's aggressive strategy against the virus, meaning events like this can still take place. I'm not afraid because China's antivirus measures are very good now. Also, everyone has to show their health kit app and all kinds of checks to be able to get in. Despite that, some are still a little anxious. In fact, I'm a little scared, but this is a rare chance to take part in a festival like this, so I decided to take the risk of coming here to check it out. To be honest, I'm very scared. I haven't even taken off my mask underneath this thing. With low numbers of confirmed cases in Hong Kong, the authorities eased social distancing measures. Bars, restaurants and clubs were allowed open until 2 a.m. and they could increase their seating capacity to 75 per cent. The police, however, were still on hand to remind partygoers to avoid gathering or crowding in one area. We have to protect ourselves. Of course, it's less fun, but I think it's better to wear masks, like coming out, having fun together, than doing nothing, staying at home. But national lockdowns shouldn't mean the animals miss out on trick-or-treating. The keepers at this zoo in Belgium dishing out pumpkin treats for their 4,000 residents. Some of them couldn't get enough of it. Others preferred pumpkin squash. Paul Hawkins, BBC News. Did you celebrate Halloween this year? Uh, were you allowed to go out wherever you are? Please let me know.